I'm going to give you a few maintenance tips for your replicator. Remember that your MakerBot should always be turned off and unplugged when you're servicing it. The first thing I'm going to show you is how to replace the Kapton tape that covers your build surface. Kapton is a film that was developed in the 1950s by the chemical company DuPont. What's special about it is that it remains stable at a wide variety of temperatures. We like it because ABS sticks to it really well, but NASA uses it as a thermal insulator on spacecrafts and spacesuits. You may notice that after a bit of printing, your tape will start to get scratched and look like this. Your future prints will be much happier if you take the time to put on a fresh layer of tape. First, you'll need to get rid of your old tape. Cut off roughly 8 inches of fresh tape and fold over the first inch or so. This helps to create a stiff edge that you can hold onto that won't fold over and get stuck to itself. Start by placing one of the long edges of tape along the middle of the platform. Once you've got that center line down, you're going to want to push the capped on tape out a little bit at a time, pushing the bubbles away from you as you go. Once you've pushed the tape all the way down to the corners, you'll need to trim off the edges using scissors or an X-Acto knife. Then just do the same thing for the other half of the platform. You can also use small pieces of capped on tape to patch small holes. The next thing I'm going to show you is how to clean out your replicator's drive gear. The drive gear is the part of your step extruder that pushes filament down through the extruder. After a few months of printing, it might get clogged with hardened bits of plastic. If you're having trouble with extruding, it's probably a good idea to clean it out. To do that, we'll have to open up your step extruder. First, unload the filament from the extruder that's giving you trouble and move it out of the way. Turn off your machine and wait a few minutes for your extruder to cool down completely. Now take a look at the front of the step extruder. Use the appropriate hex wrench from your hex wrench kit to unscrew the two bolts at the lower corners of the fan. Remove the fan and set it aside along with the heat sink and spacers. Now look at the top of the step extruder. There are two bolts in front of the black step extruder cable. Unscrew them both and disconnect the motor cable. You should now be able to pull the stepper motor out of the step extruder. Take a look at the drive gear. You'll probably see a lot of tiny bits of plastic clogging up the gear. You can clean it out with a brush or a toothpick. Once it's clean, reassemble the step extruder and get back to printing. It's a good idea to lubricate the milled rods on your replicator after about 50 hours of printing. In your accessory box, you'll find this PTFE based grease which works great for your six precision rods as well as the threaded Z-axis rod at the back of your replicator. Use your finger to spread out the grease onto the rods. Try to spread it as evenly as possible. For the threaded rod, make sure you work the grease into the threads themselves. A quarter of the tube should be enough to grease all seven rods. You'll also want to lubricate the X-axis idler pulley. To do this, squeeze a small amount of the grease onto the exposed shaft and move the pulley back and forth a bit to spread the grease around.